Need a glorified phone charger? How about an extra outlet when the power goes off? We know you're a lover of your mobile phone, so why not have a partner who can literally be a walking charger? Hey guys, what's up? This is Kyle from Fire Studios TV, the who's, what's, where's, when's, and tens of anime. And today we will be looking at 10 facts that you should already know about Denki Kaminari. Hey, wait a minute. Has this guy gotten his chance to shine as yet? Oh, carry on then. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So without further ado, let's begin. Number 10, One Punch Denki. Denki is the total class clown here, isn't he? What's with that face? Bear in mind that many characters and quirks in My Hero Academia are a reference to Shonen Jump manga and to Western comic books, and Denki is no different. He is a tribute to One Punch Man, a contemporary series. In fact, Denki was born in Saitama Prefecture, Sound familiar? What's more, he has a trademark goofy face once he uses all of his lightning power. Does this face look familiar to you? Much like the default goofy face of a capable baldy we all know and love. Number 9. A little restraint. Denki isn't especially aggressive and he's not the type to leap right into battle. However, his quirk suits someone who does since it blasts electricity all over the place no matter who is standing close to him. It's a double-edged sword since it allows Denki to launch a wide-scale attack in every direction, but it gets his friends caught in the blast as well. This lack of control puts a damper on Denki's combat power and his confident, but that problem will soon be solved. Number 8. Control at last. Hey, what's that on Denki's wrist? Mei Hatsume of UA's support department is sure a busy girl and she makes more gadgets for students other than Izuku. Denki wants better control of his quirk, so he turned to Mei and he got some new toys. As we all see in the provisional license battle, Denki now wields a wrist mounted power channeler and he can launch projectiles that attract his lightning power in a straight line. With this newfound precision, Denki delivers a serious zap to Seiji Shishikura of Shiketsu High School without causing any collateral damage. Doing that totally turned the tables. Number 7. He is starting from the bottom. Mina Ashido and Denki Kaminari have the worst grades in the hero course for class 1A. What's interesting about My Hero Academia is that Izuku, despite being born quirkless, is not the only student who has some ground to cover. Denki started right from the bottom and he's determined to change that. It's inspiring to see a low rank student like Denki have such steel resolve and take responsibility for his education and training. Mina too, he can only go up and boy does he climb this ladder fast. Even if you fall short today, well, tomorrow is another day. Number 6. Denki Jiro For the most part, shonen manga artists do not play around with any love stories when it comes to their comics, since that's really not the genre that it's all about. Still, some artists have fun in hinting at pairs and fans will take it wherever they want and let their imaginations do the rest. The world of anime shipping is a robust one and sometimes the fans bringing Denki and Jiro together. Jiro acts cool and detached. She sometimes has a good chuckle at Denki's antics and there once was a time when she even had a blush on her face while doing so. Maybe she likes goofballs? Number 5. He likes the ladies. Remember the pool training episode? The girls of class 1A got permission to use the school's pool during summer break. All the lovely ladies in their bikinis by the edge of the water. And they even convinced Izuku to secure permission for them to use the pool the same day. Denki and Maineta made such a mad dash for the pool to visit the maiden's paradise only to run into Tenya Ida. Some tough training followed and the girls were in their school issued swimsuits on the pool's side. Alas, there was no time for fun when there's training to do. Number 4. He becomes braver. Early on, the students of UA got an unexpected taste of battle when the villains, led by Tomura Shigaraki, invaded the USJ building in force. Lots of villains big and small were all over the place and the students scrambled to defend themselves until the teachers could arrive. Denki, having little control over his quirk and almost no combat experience, panicked nearly as much as Mineta did. He had to be shoved right into the ranks of the villains where he let loose his electricity on instinct. Fortunately, 
Denki learns fast. By the time the UA school festival took place, he was 100% confident in his prowess. He quickly lost to Ibara Shiozaki in a duel. But at least he's got some guts now. And that counts for something. Number 3. He has very bland taste. Later in the series, all the students were relocated into the dorms of UA for their own safety, of course. They had a license to decorate and furnish their own rooms as they like. I mean, if you're gonna have a personal space, why not call it home? Izuku loaded his room with All Might stuff, and Fumikage's room was pitch black and full of gothicness. If that's a word. Denki, though, has a pretty plain and generic room. One could say he only grabbed whatever random stuff he could put in there. From a dartboard to hat we never seen him wear before. Maybe he ought to get some interior decorating catalogs for a new idea? Who knows? Sucks at it. Number 2. His upgraded costume. Every hero student designs their own costume to accentuate their own quirks and to stand out. But Denki's is so plain at first it hardly even looks like a costume. Just a black jacket and a white t-shirt and black pants and boots plus a thingy over his ear. The students are free to upgrade and modify their costumes though. And this includes Denki. He has a utility belt, not to mention a stylish blue eyeglasses and a wrist mounted electricity guidance system that may built just for him. <laughs> Looking good kid. Have you ever thought to yourself, hey what if I was a shark? I could consume anything I want and be the terror of the sea. Well, you might not be able to be a real shark in the real world, but here's the next best thing. A cyber shark. The only thing stopping you is that region block on your favorite site or streaming app. But hey, there's hope with Surfshark VPN. Be the aggressive consumer that you are and not be stopped by such a thing as a region block when it comes to your favorite shows. I got more out of every single website by simply changing my location with one of over 3,200 different servers on any device without ever slowing me down. In the last month, I've binge watched everything I could, like the true cyber great white that I should be. But then, of course, there was nothing else to watch. So I simply switched my location to Canada and now I'm able to watch even more. And now exclusively using our referral link, you can save over 80% on your membership. That's $2 a month. Come on, $2 a month? That's insane for all the features that you get. No joke, Surfshark is one of the best VPNs out there and the cheapest as well. You can't lose. It's an absolute win-win for you. So go, live your dream of being the biggest badass shark on the seven seas and consume whatever program or feature you want in every website without being stopped or slowed down or even have to worry about security at all. Be the best you. Use the link in the description to start your membership today. And remember, every time you use one of our links, you support the channel to grow even better to bring you some of the best anime content out there. So go on, sign up your membership today. Now, back to the video. I bet you're really loving this video. Here's a great way that you can support us. Like, share, and subscribe to get notified of when we post new content. To actually get notified, click on that notification bell. Now back to the video. Number 1. He is a chill person. Denki is probably the most laid back student in all of UA and he's never at a loss for funny topics and conversations or witty remarks that he would make. He's outgoing and likes being included which makes him easy to get along with. This applies in combat too once he gets over his initial fear of lightning. Even when facing down the fearsome Seiji in combat, Denki isn't above teasing Bakugo and lecturing Senji about judging people prematurely. Maybe it's just nervous energy, but it's a bit funny to see him blab non-stop. Have you been enjoying this video? Check out this recent video and even some of our playlists. And remember to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified of when we upload new videos.